are you doing later? Nothing. Once I finish the accounts, I'm free all day. Good, because we're all having tea in the pub. Big family get together. Oh, yeah. Is he coming? He's busy. No surprise there, then. How's Belle? She's all right. Actually, she's a bit in love with me, I think. Oh, well, I'm dead proud of you. Thank you, sweetheart. Not everybody would be so brave. No, well, Uncle Zach needed me, didn't he? I wasn't going to hide around the corner wetting my pants, was I? Can't you two do one? Hit a nerve, have we? I have nothing to be ashamed of. In the past six months, I've been beaten half to death and nearly burned alive, so I reckon I've earned a bit of downtime, don't you? Just shut your mouth, OK? Vodka tonic. Um, orange juice. Yeah, of course. Mm. Sorry. Um, I've been meaning to pop over, but, well, I've been busy here, you know. What with Diane being away. And you're avoiding my boyfriend. Am I? Are you all right? Yeah, of course. Oh, come on, Charles. First, you cancel your holiday. Then you fall out with Cameron and you haven't been to see me. There's obviously something wrong. Nothing. Don't need me pestering you. Pestering? What? Charles, you're my auntie. Your problems are my problems. Go on, then. Twist me arm. What? A party very best. Right. Smiles extra, I'm guessing. I don't get on the wrong side of her. Not in a very good mood. Mm. I'm happy as Larry. Mm. I had a dog called Larry. He wasn't all that happy. Mine. Nor would I be if someone had chopped my bits off. Mm. Charles, I think that was supposed to be a joke. Oh, don't give up your danger. Well, I know you two don't see eye to eye, but he is my boyfriend, and it is awkward for me if you two don't get on. He is really nice when you get to know him properly. If you say so. Actually, after everything I've put him through, he's a saint. I think saint might be all right, innit? Right, that's all I need. What? Oh, Charles. I know. You need to move on. Find yourself a decent bloke like I have. All right. Don't start. I'm not in the mood. Ah, oh, feeling a bit sad and unloved. Um, she got over you yonks ago. Good. Cos I'm definitely over her. Good. Have a nice day. Don't mm. let that wind you up. My shout. A vodka tonic and a pint, please. No, I'm working. Well, knock off. How? What with no Jimmy? Who's going to do the Skipton run? Robbie? Mm. Oh, go on. Give him a chance, please. He'll have a pint. It's all mine this afternoon. Go on, then. Bring him over, will you? I hate blokes like that. What's he got? I haven't... Absolutely nothing, believe me. Mm. I'll nab the fit bird like you. There's no way I'd ever let you go. Cheers, you're a gent. Mm. If it was more of a woman, I might still have my wife and kids. Trust me, you're better off young, free and single. I think my playing days are over. Oh, behave. You're not that repulsive. <laughs> you You're knocking them back today. So? Mm -hmm. I admire a woman who can handle a liquor. Mm. <laughs> Aren't you supposed to be at work? Oh, I'm having a personal day. Why? I made her an offer she couldn't refuse. <laughs> More full hair. Steady on, Chas. You trying to get drunk? Even if I was, what is it to you? I own this place. <laughs> I'm sorry, is there something you want to say? No, love. You've done me a favour. I mean, nobody wants to be married to a drunk. You want to get yourself a life, pal? What was that? Oh, sorry, I didn't realise you were out of air in. I said, you want to get yourself a life! Uh, can you get my brother a pint, please? Were you defending my honour just then? Give over. What does a girl like you know about honour, eh? Mm. <laughs> Bet you could have any bloke in this village. Oh, yeah. Fancy chances. I always had a thing about feisty women. Same again. Uh, Should have been back at work half an hour ago. Oh, what's kept you? You can resist the charms of a busty barmaid, eh? <laughs> You're a mild big git. If you're impressed by my mouth, wait till you see the rest of me. <laughs> Get back to work. Yeah. See you later. <laughs> Charity, our hero. Oh, shut up. I didn't do anything. And you were very brave yourself. Well, you have to face up to bullies, don't you? 
Well, uh, where's this food we've been promised? Oh, somebody mentioned food. Oh. Like a rat up a drain pipe, haven't you? You know what? The more the merrier, I say. So why don't you sit here, Lizzie? Me and you will go and see where Marlon is. Hey, I love. Over here. Oh, hey, oh. darling. Hi, love. Well, this is nice, isn't it? Yes. Is he not back yet? Where from? He's gone to shout a paddy and Rona. Right. Oh, it's not important. Can we get the same round again, please? Yep. <sighs> you know, Lisa and Grandad look like they're going to kill each other. You don't actually think they'll split up, do you? It's down to me, this. Why? Probably should have just stuck with your dad. Don't you dare blame yourself for this. You have done everything for this family. This is my dad's fault. Yeah, maybe you're right. He's just being weak and pathetic, isn't he? 